Good morning. My name is Nate Sprunger and I'm one of the clinical educators. Here at Phil Hour Motion Control, we have designed one of the most robust and popular myelectric hook devices out there on the market. Uh, today we're going to talk about the ETD, electronic terminal device, and we're also going to talk about the second generation ter electronic terminal device, the ETD2. So let's talk about some of the advantages of a hook style device as opposed to a hand um, or other terminal devices. Hooks are great. Hooks are very functional. Um, when we think about doing activities of daily living, hooks can give us a very fine control. Also, a huge advantage of a hook is we have line of sight. Um, so we can see the object that we're actually picking up. Um, after an amputation, uh, we don't have that sensory feedback. So it is important for us to be able to see the object that we're grabbing. One of the benefits of fill hour motion controls, ETD or ETD2, are they are very robust in nature. These are meant to be workhorses. Think your heavy duty users uh, working outside in the elements, uh, working in factories, working in a barn. Both the ETD and ETD2 are both uh, submersible. They are waterproof submersible, so they're rated IPX7. Used in conjunction with a fill hour motion control end cap or motorized wrist rotator, this actually makes the prosthesis submersible up to that first opening in the socket. Like all of fill hour motion controls terminal devices, there is a safety release located here on the device. You can simply just flip that and it'll release whatever object we are grabbing. Just a great feature of our devices that just gives you the peace of mind and security to know that you're not going to get stuck on an object or stuck in a, in a situation where maybe your battery possibly dies or something like that. If you look at the device, there is an on off switch here. We simply push this device outward to turn the device on and then simply push the on off switch inwards or towards the body to turn that device off. With our ETD, titanium fingers are available. Uh, it doesn't make the de device any lighter, but it does make it much stronger. So just be aware of that if you are a heavy duty user, um, the titanium fingers will give you that added security of knowing that you can uh, get in there and, and grab and really grip some of those uh, heavier objects. Next, we're going to talk about our ETD2. This is our second generation of electronic terminal device here at Phil Hour Motion Control. All the same benefits as the original ETD, but as you notice, uh, it has a more aesthetic design. Okay, Wider fingers, uh, it's going to provide more surface area. Also, if you look at this device, uh, you're going to see some little grip pads on the outside of the hook. Um, with these friction surfaces, uh, we get a lot of passive uh, uh, functionality out of it too. Great for moving objects around on a desk, such as a piece of paper. So in field trial trials, users really, really like that benefit of it. Um, the ETD2 is meant to pick up very large cylindrical objects. For instance, I have here a large mason jar. So with this very, very wide opening, I can really come in and confidently grab very large cylindrical objects, okay? Objects even as wide as a two liter uh, bottle. Keeping in line with all of Phil Hour Motion Control's terminal devices, ETD2 also has uh, a safety release button right here on the bottom. This is gonna prevent us accidentally getting stuck on a shopping cart or the subway bar or anything that may happen where we lose power due to a dead battery or just a malfunction. Okay, so one thing I'd really like to talk about is one of the features built into all of our fill hour motion control terminal devices. Uh, and that feature is what we call FLAG. Now FLAG stands for Force Limiting Auto Grasp. So we're gonna talk about the force limiting part of FLAG here first. Some of the feedback or some of the complaints from users in the past have been something as simple as grabbing a water bottle, right? We close around the water bottle and then we squeeze it. And then what happens when we take off the cap? Splash, water comes pouring out the top and goes everywhere. Flag's a great feature to use 
And this is just one, one example of a real-time usage. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hold the device open here. And I held the, the, the open signal there and I turned, engage the, turned the flag on and engage the flag. That does provide some sensory feedback. Uh, so I felt a buzz. I'm going to go ahead and come in here. I'm going to close around that bottle. And as soon as it made contact there, I, did, I felt another buzz. So I know I have the object um, tight. Now, if the object starts to slip and I want to tighten down a little bit more, I can go ahead and go ahead and give it another close signal. And it's going to pulse down a little bit more, and a little bit more. I can do this up to 10 times, uh, and it's going to increase the force increment of about two pounds each time I give it that pulse. And I can simply go ahead and unscrew the cap there, and then I can you know, feel it nice and secure in there. Again, I can always tighten it down if I need to. Okay. Let's talk about how the autograss works in the ETD and ETD2. Again, same way, I'm going to hold that open. I'm going to feel that buzz. And now I know that flag is engaged, right? So we, we already talked about how the force limiting works. The way the autograph works is there is a sensor in the hook here. And so if the microprocessor inside the device feels like it's an inadvertent open, um, or it senses that, oh, he gave it a quick open signal, but I don't think that they meant, or the user meant to open that, it's gonna automatically clamp down. Um, just providing a little bit of security um, and peace of mind that you aren't going to accidentally or inadvertently drop something. It does cause a little bit of a delay, so if users do not like that, uh, they can disable the autographs part of the flag. Again, just using that iOS uh, handle the app, and again, uh, please, please reach out to your process and they'll be able to walk you through uh, how to make those adjustments. So the, the advantages of FLAG, I uh, just demonstrated one uh, real-time scenario where it could be beneficial, but there's many others. Uh, new users, you know, we don't, they're going to have that peace of mind. They're not going to crush objects. Um, also not going to drop objects. Uh, I think holding a drink at a party, um, talking with their hands, things like that. Also, seasoned users. Uh, we, we have several seasoned users who really, really like Flag. And as they become more comfortable and experienced with the devices, they know exactly how many pulses they need uh, to clamp down on that piece of fruit or vegetable without crushing it. Okay, to summarize, we talked about uh, two different hooks from Phil Hour Motion Control. Our ETD for second generation, ETD2. Both very robust devices, both waterproof submersible, both capable of very heavy duty uh, activities, and they also both have their unique advantages. Uh, ETD1, again, it's gonna give us a lot more line of sight than the wider fingers of the ETD2. Also think reaching into pockets, right? Um, grabbing car keys, things like that. Gonna be a little bit easier with the original ETD. Uh, as far as the ETD2, again, it also has the same benefits of a hook, but we can grasp large cylindrical objects, uh, as I demonstrated earlier. Also remember those unique rubberized pads on the outside of the hook is going to give it a lot of that passive function that we may need uh, in between actual grasping of objects. So thanks for joining us here to learn more about the ETD and ETD2. Um, and watching our short demonstration. If you have any more questions or want to get more details about options for our electronic terminal devices, uh, please visit us, visit us at www.fillhour.com. Thank you.